Alright, here I am again, I'm Toby and you're watching YouTube. This time I'm gonna show you a team match. So I'll be playing with a friend of mine. I'm gonna choose a Christmas board map again since this board map is faster than the original board map. This time I'm still single but I will play with a friend. Just a friend. A friend zone. Just a random friend. It's pretty sad to say anything. Anyway, finding opponent with my team. Loading, the loading. Okay, I am team with SK Go. And I'm the on the third turn. Oh, that's cute. It's one of the new character of Game of Dice named Isabel and Sophia. They're pretty cute. And of course, I'm still using Ion, the male character of the game, the coolest male character. This character is pretty low, pretty weak, but let's not underestimate weak opponents. Her dimensional ship that transport her back to the start. Pretty unlucky. Transporting her back to the start doesn't mean that she gets she has already turned a loop, that's why her city didn't increase. Her city's level didn't increase. Oh dimensional ship moved to task. This is why I don't use dimensional ship. Don't really like that card since, especially if you get unlucky. Early ups. Uses skill card hey, so she gets another turn. Took the money, took his took her money. Tax money. She rolled an eight. Oh that nice blessing skill card. I really like that skill card. I wish I had that. Anyway, it's my turn. Choose about I wanna try to get the mini battle, so I'm gonna choose a six. Please give me a six. Give me an eleven. Not the tax wasted turn. Use dimensional ship as well. Oh, she landed on a nice city, and not only that she landed on Paris, she gets to level it up. It's early because she gets to the start soon. As you can see, level 3 Paris already, and they got the early ox. So, unfortunate, risky deal, randomly trade a city of yours to your opponent's city. Oh, why? Nice one, teammate! Oh, yeah. Pretty lucky there. She nodded on the pony city. Take over it, man. Oh, yeah. She has one more take over city to escape. You can see Sophia and Isabel don't have skill cards right now. Use it all up. Oh, nice to meet you too, Isabel. Eight, but level people city. Okay, I'm gonna use haste since I need a even number to get the ox. Hopefully, give me a 10. Oh, it didn't work this time. In my last video it worked, but that's okay. It's still nice. Give me a 2. Oh, that's okay. At least I get to start fast. Or the 12. As you would see, you can bet on your teammate city. You bet times 4 on his teammate city. Because your city is like your. The city of your teammates is, is like the same. It's like you own it as well. But it doesn't increase its level when you. Manage to get to the starting lap. Only your cities will still increase on the starting lap. 
not your unique city. Take care of that. She went to jail because she rolled a dice double three times. This is to prevent the, the OP or the goodness of the dice double. So that prevent the dice double for having to have more than three dice double. That's why for every three dice double you get to the jail. It's like having to iron them. Okay, looking at the board map, we have a we have the advantage because we got the city in New York and Paris. The cities above are really strong. Six. All right, that's a good city. You need three of those cities to get a column of the three violet city. Oh, they got the rocks again. Believe it. You can get it. You can get it to level three. Got an eight. Another roll. Nice double. Nice, color monopoly. Okay. Even though we don't have the ox yet, we have more cities than our opponents. So once we got the ox, this is definitely on our advantage. We get three. It gave me a ten. Got to the start early again. Still only have two cities. By the way, if ever I die, those two cities will vanish. But the red cities will remain. Okay, go to eight. Got the low level city. I wonder if it's gonna take over it. Oh, it take over it. That's a pretty move move. That's okay. Here's the hidden skill card. Oh yeah, I got the curse. This increases the the toll the, the opponent will pay by 300% for two turns. Oh, my, my teammate uses big fish. It gives us two random unowned property. That big fish can only be used when there's below than seven unowned properties. So he was able to use it, and we got the ox. All right. It's very nice to use the curse when you have the ox. And I'm gonna use it now so that they could land on C there in the top field. I think I'm gonna really use it now. Uh oh, nah, I'm gonna use it later. Okay, got a three. I think I will use Curse once all our cities become max level. Alright, Conquer City! One of my favorite tile. And we got Sydney, a city next to the Ox. It's one of the awesome city ever. The dice is always on your side, huh? But you landed in the tax. Okay, that will start nice. Let's level. Maybe I should have used first already. Hmm. Okay, she now in the level 2 city, St. Paul. Hopefully they don't get the ox. I'm not gonna use this yet. Hmm, or should I use it now? Nah. Hmm, should I use it now? Nah. Man, it's confusing. Hope to get that. Oh, man. Get it because if I get that, it will already be color monopoly with my three cities Paris, New York, and Stockholm. All right, oh, yeah, one opponent uses long already, it's a very big advantage. Now he can't use long anymore. Fortune mode. 
no need to be scared of Berlin since we have that city. Alright, we gotta take over. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice outcome. You really like this spam, that nice to meet you. It uses the skill card round trip, it gets you one full lap on the board, increasing all your city's level and you can also have a chance to bet on your own city. Since you landed on your city again, but unfortunately she landed on our city. Alright, one B. Both our opponents use this loan. And I still have nice skill cards here. I want to try to push it. Yeah, it's turn 19, but I think I'm gonna use curse on someone. I'm gonna use it on Isabel. Oh yeah, hopefully she not learns Paris, Sydney, or New York. Just don't land on the ox, okay? I'm gonna take over this because I still have a lot of takeover certificate. Since all the takeover certificate that you currently have in the game will not be transported on the next game. So it's better to use it all before the game ends. And it's hard to use takeover certificate on the late game since the cities become stronger now. So you can take over once you died on a city. Alright, one dead. One down. Nice, we got Sydney. Alright, curse. Please make the curse work. Oh, that's the best thing that could happen. Times 3, times 3, 8B. Oh yeah, 300% increase. Bye bye. Well, the total winning amount that you can get on a team match is is the total bet amount plus the total winning joy from your opponents divided by 2 minus 10% tax money on the total winning amount. So it's divided by 2. That's the difference between a single and team match. The advantage of this stat is that even if you lose early as long as your teammate wins, you get half of the joy that you got from your opponents. So it isn't that bad as well. Difference between a single and team match. Next video, I'll be sharing now how intense Grand Slam is. So don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel to get updates on gameplay and more strategic videos of Game of Dice.